guys, welcome to another episode of Color Mixing with Chris. I'm Chris Arpin. We're here in the booth at Createx Colors. And we're going to talk about creating a candy pearl finish with our Cosmic Sparkle and our Hot Rod Sparkle colors. So what I'm going to do is, on this side of the panel, I have uh, our uh, sealer silver. And on this side, this is just black. So we'll show you the difference in the brightness that you're going to get with your, your ground coat. Again, as we talk about that quite a bit and how important your ground coat is in, in terms of the final look of your candy. So we're going to do Emerald uh, Candy 2.0, and we're going to do Cosmic Sparkle Green, and then we're going to do the same Emerald Candy, and we're going to do Hot Rod Sparkle Green. So you'll see just the flake size uh, gives it a different color, gives it a different look in terms of the reflection in the, in the sun. So we're going to start with this. I'm going to put a second coat on this and make sure we're all good, so we'll let this dry up. And I'm going to start mixing my candies, so we'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, we're back in the booth. Our silver sealer is all dry. I have my line taped off to separate this panel. Uh, remember what I said I was gonna do is do Hot Rod Sparkle and my candy mix, a candy pearl with Hot Rod Sparkle on the top. And then I'm gonna do the Cosmic Sparkle in my candy mix on the bottom. The difference being the Cosmic Sparkle is a little bit smaller than the Hot Rod Sparkle. The Hot Rod Sparkle is a bigger flake, kind of mini bass boat style flake where the Cosmic is more of the OEM type uh, it's just like a Zorilla pearl that you guys are familiar with in the automotive refinish. A lot of the factory pearls and metallics are that size. So that's really the only difference. But that's what we're doing here just to highlight not only what it looks like over black and over a bright metallic base, but the, the flake size in the same exact color. So I have my emerald green candy. It is mixed four to one with our 4050. So four parts 4050, four parts 4050 to one part emerald green and about 25% of my hot rod sparkle. That's really gonna give us a lot of glitter. So we're gonna do probably four coats and we'll see how we like that. So I'm gonna show you guys what coat number one looks like. Okay, so that's one coat. Uh, again, this is a candy, really. At the end of the day, it's a candy with a flake in it. So you're not gonna have coverage in terms of pigment. So you have to be very careful on how your coats go on. You want nice, even, light coats to eliminate any kind of stippling or modeling or striping and we'll gradually build that up. So that's coat number one. We're gonna let that flash off uh, probably about 10 minutes and we'll come back and do coat number two. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, it's been about 10 minutes. This is dry and I'm gonna put on coat number two. point now you can see it's starting to fill in a little bit we're getting a little bit of coverage so you can see another two coats is really going to make this nice and rich so I think four coats total is where we're going to be so we'll probably go ahead and do the second coat and uh, we'll show you guys on the last coat what that looks like so we'll see in a little bit okay guys we're back uh, third coat is dry I'm going to do my last coat and if you can see it is a little bit darker now it's starting to really take on a nice rich color that's because my by the time I put my third coat on I was able to go just a little bit heavier instead of a medium it was like medium wet uh, just to, to help fill in everything and get a nice even coat of material on there so if you look right here so you can see it actually is a little thinner more transparent on the edge of that tape than it is in the face just because I'm not really wrapping the edge but for this it's fine so I'm gonna do my last coat we're gonna let that dry up we'll get this untaped and we will start with our Cosmic Sparkle Candy Pearl on the bottom. So this is coat number four. Okay guys, we are back in the booth. I have my Hot Rod Sparkle taped off. Uh, we're gonna do the exact same thing, uh, except we're gonna use the Cosmic Sparkle. Like I said, it's a little more uh, smaller size of flake, so it's more of a Zorelic, uh, like an OEM finish type of, of pearl flake. So we're gonna do the same thing over black and over silver. Probably gonna do about four coats. We'll see how it looks uh, when we start putting material down, and the reduction is exactly the same. So I did four parts 40-50 to one part emerald green candy, and right around 25% of the overall volume of uh, Cosmic Sparkle. So so this is coat number one. Okay, we're back. 
back, first coach dry. It's been about 10, 15, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, again, we're going to see a light coat, very light. It's a, it's a wet coat, but it's a very light coat. We're working with candy. Uh, and even the Zerulic Pearl that's in here, the, the Cosmic Sparkle, isn't going to cover. It's not going to give you coverage in terms of pigment. So it's very crucial that you work in light coats to build this up to the desired uh, color. So this is coat number two, and uh, we'll probably do four coats. Okay guys, we're back. We're going to do our fourth and final coat. Uh, my, I have a third coat on here. I was able to put that on a little bit wetter to help fill everything in. Uh, it's, it's very, again, crucial to have even coverage every time. So once you really start to build up a nice ground coat, now you can actually get a little bit heavier with your spray, but still we want a medium wet coat, no more. We don't want to have a huge heavy, heavy coat on there because it's just going to cause problems. So this will be the last coat. Uh, we're going to let it dry up for about an hour and then I'm going to clear it and then we're going to check it out. We'll see what we have. Okay guys, we got it all cleared up and we are outside in the sun and you can see a pretty drastic difference between the Hot Rod Sparkle, which is the larger Pearl Flake, and the Cosmic Sparkle, the smaller Pearl Flake, the more of the Zarelic uh, Pearl Flake. Now remember, this was black and this was our uh, Sealer Silver on this side. So you can see a pretty dramatic difference, especially between the actual color value uh, between not only the black and the silver, but the actual cosmic as opposed to the hot rod. The hot rod, because it does have that larger flake, it actually has a tendency to lighten the color up uh, over the black where the, the cosmic seems a little bit darker. So this is a perfect example of what you can achieve in a, in a simple custom effect that you can get with our Candy 2.0 system, our 4050, and our hot rod sparkle, and our cosmic sparkle. So thanks for checking this out. We'll see you guys next time.